Hello, uh, welcome to HelpingMath.com. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the problem 16. Uh, solve the inequality for x and graph the solution on the number line. Uh, we have what? 4 over 3x minus 2 uh, is greater than 2 over 9 times x uh, plus 1 over 6. As, as you can see that we have the fraction in this inequality. Uh, when you have the fraction in the inequality, the key to solve is from the LCD. Uh, so here, we're going to look at the denominator here. We have a 3. Uh, we have uh, number 9, also have number 6. Uh, we have a 3 denominators here. So 3 is a prime number, as can do nothing about it, just 3. Uh, 9, we can write to 3 times uh, 3. Uh, 6, we can write to 3 times uh, 2. As you can see, we have a uh, uh, com com factor 3 here, and one extra 3, and also one extra 2. So the LCD will be 3 times uh, 3 times 2, that gives us 18. So after we found the LCD, we need, uh, we need to do is that multiply the LCD for both sides of the inequality. Uh, actually, it's uh, each term of the inequality. So we have 18 times uh, 4 over 3x minus uh, 18 times uh, 2. Then it's greater than 18 times uh, 2 over 9x plus 18 times uh, 1 over 6. Uh, then you can simplify this uh, inequality. We have uh, 18 times uh, 4 over 3 uh, times x. That will be 18 if we divide it by 3, that will be 6. And also 6 times 4x, that gives us uh, 24, 24x. <coughs> then here we have negative 18 times uh, 2, that gives us a negative 36 uh, is greater than 18 divided by, nine, uh, divided by 9, that would be 2. 2 times uh, 2x, that gives us 4x. Then plus, uh, eighteen times 1 over 6 um, is the same as uh, 18 divided by 6, that would be 3. Right? So uh, after we simplify, it becomes very uh, easy in quantity. We have uh, both sides of x terms. Uh, what we need to do is then move the x term one side, numbers to the other side, then divide the coefficient from the x. So we have 4x, we, sub we need to subtract 4x for both sides. After simplify it, we have uh, 24 minus 4x that gives us um, 20x minus 30x is greater than 4x and 4x cancel out. So we have a 3 here. Then we can move the number to the other side. Here's a minus 36, we can plus 36. Uh, then what do we have here is a 20x. Negative 30, 36 um, plus 36 as cancel out with greater than 3 plus uh, 36 of 39. Then we divide a coefficient in front of x, divided by 20. Then we have our solution. Um, x is greater than so 20, 20 cancel out, we have x is greater than 39 divided by 20. So if we want to graph on the number line, uh, here's 0, then we have a 39 over 20. Uh, it's greater than, so it should go to the right side, right direction, right? Then the whole part is this, but does not include, include number 39 over 20, should it be a empty circle, right? So that's the answer, and this is a graph. 